What's going on my NFT friends and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I got a fun one for you guys. We're going to be looking at four different Solana NFTs, two of which have already minted and two that mint here very, very soon. With that being said, of course, none of this is financial advice. Always do your own research. You guys know that. Let's hop into the video. I wanted to touch on the NFT market right now. We are actually recovering quite nicely. We're back over a billion dollar market cap in Solana NFTs. Solana price is rebounding very nice at $95. So hopefully this is a push in the right direction on getting us back on track to where we were just a couple of months ago. All right, guys. And as always, if any of these projects interest you and you want to study them further, I will have all the links linked in the YouTube description for their website, Twitter, Discord, all that good stuff. You can find that in the YouTube description below. With that being said, let's jump into the first project. So we're going to be taking a look at Solman first. This one mints on March 10th. So let's take a deeper dive into what this project is all about. The first 100% revenue sharing NFT marketplace on Solana. We are also providing you the possibility to earn SMN tokens by staking, trading, and participating in the community. It's going to be a collection of 3,000 Solman apes. It says they have over 50 different traits. They're going to have a stake to earn SMN token. It says each owner can stake his NFT for his daily issuance of SMN token. A total of 100 million SMN tokens are allocated to holders of Solman NFT. This amount will be released over 800 days to all NFT stakers, which equivalents to an everyday release of 125,000 SMN tokens. It also says save up to 100% on NFT marketplace fees. We want to reward our early buyers and holders of Salmon 8 by giving them the opportunity to save up all of the trading fees on our nft marketplace when staking the nft on our platform so not only do they have a token coming but they also have their own nft marketplace coming and a little further in the roadmap they also also have a launch pad plan so a lot of different things planned for this one right here it says the idea of web 3.0 is to democratize and decentralize the profits and benefits from a centralized authority to its users so the idea is that the people who are participating in our marketplace are also getting benefits using the marketplace so the fees of the marketplace are going to its users which democratizes the web and is actually better for the users we at Solman think the same way. That is also the reason why we are building the first community-oriented NFT marketplace on Solana. This means 100% of the NFT marketplace fees will be distributed to Solman SMN token holders who are actively staking. It also goes into here why they pick Solana. They have all the different previews of what their NFTs are going to look like. But I mean, if you want something that has a lot of good things planned... This one actually has quite a bit planned out. They have staking, SMN tokens, they got earned trading rewards, stake to save, daily issuance of Solana. They have a lot of different things going for them. They are also Docs. These are the two founders of this particular NFT. You guys can check out all their different social medias down here. And they just have a lot of things planned for this one. The roadmap's pretty well laid out. It says quarter two is when they're going to launch the SMN token on a DEX. They're going to be listed on CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko. They have an NFT marketplace, which they plan on releasing in quarter two, so right around the corner. They're also going to be coming out with the NFT staking come quarter three, as well as airdrops and their NFT launch pad. And then in quarter four, they have the Solman NFT multi-uploader, adding features to the platform depending on the user experience and feedback. And they also have this thing called Solman NFT education. So I'm curious to see what that is. So what do you guys think about this one? I mean, from a roadmap perspective, this one looks pretty decent. It obviously obviously all comes down to how well they can deliver on everything, but I thought this one was definitely worthy of a mention in this video. Number two, this was one that you guys suggested I checked out on my last Saturday live stream. If you guys don't know, I do a live stream on Saturdays where I review different Solana NFTs that you all, the community, suggest that I check out. 
This was one of those projects, so I thought I would talk about them a little bit more. So it says, welcome to Corona Club. We are an NFT-based gaming project in Solana with a variety of club games in the Corona verse, where every Corona Club NFTs bring a different flavor to the gameplay. It says, we are reimagining the club games universe with an NFT-enabled gameplay logic to enhance the winnability for the player. While the gameplay will provide utility to the holders, we kept a special focus on the NFT's art quality so that they will always look appealing to use. Has a little bit of information here as to the benefits of being a holder. You get 25% of the resale royalties that gets distributed to you on a weekly basis. They have whitelisting for future game NFTs and they have a ton of future NFTs planned. Early access to our clubhouse games and participation in tournaments, airdrops, as well as what they claim to be passive and active income. Crota Club will focus mostly on card and board games. It says that the gameplay has been designed in such a way that mental dexterity more than luck will always take a player closer to win. We will mint separate card game NFTs with a 9,999 supply for the card games after our initial Genesis Mint. You guys can check out the artwork here. A lot of people really like the artwork for this one. A little bit on the roadmap, they've already implemented pretty much everything right here on stage one in quarter one. If you guys don't know, they are a 1611 supply. They already minted. The mint price was 0.5 Solana. They're sitting right around 0.45, for, so just under the mint price at the moment. But they have their first card game coming out here soon. Supply is pretty high, so I am curious as to see what the price will be on these future card games. But it says KGY holders get whitelisting. They're going to launch version one of the card game with NFT-enabled gameplay. They're going to have tournaments and other card games launches coming in stage two of the roadmap. They're going to launch two different coins, one for the ecosystem and one for rewards. It says they're going to have Coinbase self-enabled monetary ecosystem system implementation they're going to have an airdrop for the holders they are got to mint a segment of board games nfts so that's another collection coming in quarter two and quarter three it says you also get whitelisting so they kind of repeat this and keep creating new games they're going to have a dow creation come quarter four a gaming guild and something called a scholarship ecosystem in between stages, they're going to have an introverse, which is a cross adoption of non Kodora NFTs within the game. That sounds interesting. Sounds like some collaborations maybe right there. Solanaverse, find a place in Meadowlands within Solana and build a virtual pachinko and then also portal integrations. They do have a pretty big team here. They have seven people on the team. So this is one that I found to be really interesting and I'm definitely glad you guys recommended that I check them out. All right, so number three is a pretty unique NFT. It's called Diamond Town Heads. They mint on February 28th, which is the day I'm making this video. So let's dive a little deeper into what they have going on. The Diamond Town Heads is a collection of 5,000 randomly co-generated NFTs that exist on the Solana blockchain. Founded by Moonrock Lab, each head NFT is unique and heady also grant you a Diamond Town citizenship. They have 250 different traits. It's got to give you access to citizen-only benefits such as earning hair, their utility token, as well as exclusive contents can be unlocked by the community as rebuild plan goes on. Like I said, they are a 5,000 supply. They are minting today. And this is the different benefits of being a holder. It says there's only obviously a quantity of 5,000. You get to earn their hair token. Uh, that's going to be their primary token for their collection. They also have this thing called the Diamond Bank, which is essentially their community wallet. But it says 25% of the sale and 100% of secondary royalties will be deposited into the Diamond Bank. Headers direct the use of funds from the community wallet. So I do like that. That's a pretty big portion of the mint proceeds being 25% as well as 100% of the secondary royalties will go into the community diamond bank, which is a very good sign to help them build the future of this project. They also have this thing called the Civic Center, which takes part in vote and submit proposals regarding project direction. So it's kind of like your community vote with the Civic Center. I do like how they lay 
laid everything out here. They show what they've completed, what they're working on, what they have planned, and the different ideas that they're kind of tossing around right now. One thing I did see is they did acquire some sandbox land, so you are going to have a place to hang out in the metaverse. And this is everything they're working on right now. Marketing campaigns, community growth, release of the hair token, barber shop, which will be their staking system, header shop, as well as this thing called sandbox times DTH, XDTH, not sure what that is. But they also have these things planned over here. Post Mint Marketing, be listed on Marketplaces, Website 2.0, Diamond Bank Civic Center, Diamond Auction House, as well as Diamond Marketplace. So lots of things planned for the future. And then these are the different ideas that they're kind of tossing around. They are being developed by this company called Moonrock Lab, which is founded in Hong Kong by a group of six nerds who has the same goal to develop meaningful projects in Web3. Currently, Moonrock Lab is developing their first NFT project, Diamond Town Heads, as it would mark the start of participating in Web3 development to all future possibilities. So this is one I found to be interesting, being that they're being built by an actual team called Moonrock Labs. They're unique. No one else is doing a project that's about heads and has a utility token called hair. So I do like the unique art aspect to it, as well as just they're very transparent with what they're doing. And I like the amount that they're allocating back into the community wallet for the future growth of the project. All right, so let's take a look at the last one, which is Cyborg Iguanas. They sold out in one minute. They just minted here recently. 2,222 supply, 1.5 Solana mint price, and they're currently sitting at a 2.75 floor. So they're off to a very good start. It says Cyborg Iguanas are the galactic mercenaries of the Iguanaverse. Born amidst chaos and hardened steel in a post-apocalyptic world where resources are scarce, the Iguanas must scour the galaxies for the valued currency core. So this is their utility token they have coming out. It says each iguana is uniquely enhanced and battle tested for any conquest in the galaxy. Every iguana is uniquely generated with over 100 plus traits. It says mined from the depths of the planets in cosmic space, core is the prized currency of the iguanaverse. Each cyborg iguana will hunt down and gather core daily through their conquest, looting and hired services. Core is vital to the Iguanaverse ecosystem as it will be used to hunt for Iguana eggs and exotic items. So that tells me they will have a Gen 2 collection coming in the future. They have a little bit of their tokenomics here. If you guys click on their Medium article, I will have that linked in the description below if you want to study the tokenomics as well as the utility of the token. It says the original Genesis Iguanas are the only ones able to generate core daily. Core will be listed on Radium and Liquidity Pool will be funded with a percentage of funds from secondary sales. Iguana companions and radars will be minted using core. Remember, core is king. Gather your supplies and team to prepare for takeoff into the Iguanaverse. Post Mint, they said they're going to be coming out with a bunch of different one-of-one -one, uh, special edition iguanas. So you guys can check out the artwork for those over on their website. They're going to be forming an iguana DAO. It says the DAO treasury will be initially funded with 25% of secondary sales. This number can change as we may need to make some adjustments based on secondary volume and project needs. The Iguana DAO will be making the executive decisions on the direction in which Cyborg Iguanas will develop. They have a couple different holder perks. It says, as an elite Genesis Iguana holder, you will receive exclusive perks in the Discord and will be eligible for airdrops and giveaways. We will implement private holders, Discord channels, and roles, and have whitelists for collaborating projects. The benefits do not stop there. We are here for the long term. Additional benefits will be announced later in time. They have a bunch of different FAQs here, and it looks like they have a team of seven working on this project. So let me know what you guys think about this one and let me know which one of these four was your favorite NFT that we reviewed today. Make sure you stay tuned to all the content I have coming. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you don't mind. I have a bunch of content coming this week. With that being said, I'll catch you in one of those future videos. Take care. Bye-bye.